The Wednesday now listed chase is next as a three mile listed event at the top Corbin's Raw for Graham Clutterbuck. Elvis, Martin Leedham, Fanon Alta, Blatron and Hazy Lip both ran a mold. Welcome back to Adam, I think he missed last week. San Pedro Cartel, Vinnie Gerard, Sizzling Tail, Paul Parsons, Wooden Ship, Leon Van Rensburg, Balladiera Ivor, David Robertson, Fearless, Paul Parsons, Intrigue, Cheney, David Robertson, Yorker Dream, David Hilly, Smell of Victory, Leon Van Rensburg, Sackaby Complaining, Derek Hinton, The Contract, Craig Beckwith, The Widow, Joshua Sutherland, and Violets, No Waiting, Winning Brillant, for Alex Sherry at the bottom, they're off and racing and heading towards the first. It's a short run to the first, and they've all got over, the, over it safely with Hazy Lip and The Widow. Disputing the lead, Elvis now coming through. Now that one is a known front runner, so we're probably going to get some pace in this race, unlike last time. Obviously, he doesn't fall, and he jumped the second. Okay, and something did fall. Two did actually. Takapi complaining, and even more surprisingly, wooden ship. So Leon not in the best of luck here in these Ascot races after taking the first four on the car. I think it was. But anyways, Hazy Lips and Elvis on first four on the day. Who dispute the lead. Back in third is the widow. Then comes the contract. And sizzling tail is after that one. Winning Brillant after that one. And then Balladier either. And Corbin's Raw. As they head down to the fourth. And Hazy Lipton Elvis are setting the pace. From the widow and the contract. Gap about three lengths into the rest, then we're headed by Corbin's Roar and Sizzling Tail. With William Brillant on the outside as they skip over number five. The intrigued Cheney is the one who's just the back marker. And something else has gone there, it's San Pedro Cartel. The San Pedro Cartel has crashed out for Vinnie Gerard as they skip over number seven. So the fallers are coming quite. Thick and fast in this one as they get over the next. The rest of them got over that one okay. And they're heading back down towards the straight again. Well, I'll take two in the straight and then go out for another complete circuit. But it's Hazy Lipton Elvis who are a good six lengths clear of the widow who shook off the contract and is now on its own in third. The contract is now about three lengths adrift of that one in fourth alongside Corbin's Roar and Winning Brillant as they take the ninth and Hazy Lipped. Took a bit of a gamble with that one, got away with it. And that's left Elvis with a clear lead. Well, length or two, but Hazy Lip being driven up the inside to rejoin that one as they come to the fence that will be the last on the next circuit. And Elvis and Hazy Lip take it together. From the widow, and the contract is a clear fourth now. Then Corbin's roar on winning Brillant. Smell of victory on the inside. With sizzling tail and balladier either. Into that one with Yorker Dream and Fanon Alta Boitron. Intrigue Chenet, Violet's No Weighty, and finally Fearless at the back as they head out on their final circuit. Final circuit for me today. Gray will take you through the final four races. It's Hazy Lipped who's in the lead. From Elvis in second. And the Widow is third, the contract is fourth. And Corbin's Roar after that one as they get into this next one, the 11th of the 20. And we'll stream over that. Quite well strung out. The Widow is now getting ready to join the leading pair, make it a leading trio as we get towards the business end of the race. Over this next one, Hazy Lipped. Jumped it slightly better than Elvis and is now a length and a half up. Elvis is second, the Widow is a close up third. Coming to this ditch. Elvis took that one much better. And has gone back up alongside Hazy Lipped. The widow is sitting ominously behind the two of them that poised ready to challenge and in fact jump past Elvis at that one. The contract is back in fourth and getting a bit closer. Also being pulled off the fence now and starting to make a movie smell of victory. But it's the widow who's broken up that leading pair for the first time and has now gone on. So the widow's gone into the lead. Hazy Lipped is second. Elvis being pushed along in third. Then the, the contract is about four lengths down in fourth. With smell of victory, Corbin's roar and size in town. Next, and another little gap back to Intrigue Chenet who's making a bit of a forward move. This is the 15th of the 20. And that time it was the widow 
Diego who landed in the lead. Elvis, Elvis jumped it well in second. They get into the next one. And it's the Widow and Elvis from just in the inside. Hazy Lip. These three are clear of Smell of Victory and the contract. That's the final ditch, the 17th. Just three more left to take then now. And it's the Widow and Hazy Lip. Elvis on the outside. Smell of Victory is in fourth and getting closer. Look at this sizing tail running through as well. Then comes Corbin's Raw Mallorca Dream is also trying to run on. But the Widow's got the lead as they swing into the straight. Two more fences to take then now and it's the widow in the lead from hazy lips and elvis they've been up there all the time but are starting to struggle now smell of victory is trying to come through the contract is running a good race so too his size in town after that one is mallorca dream probably between these as they come to the second last but it looks like the widow has slipped the free on here the widow's gone on and she's clear of smell of victory and size in tail on the outside mallorca dream moves into fourth the contract is next elvis and hazy lips are now beaten they come down towards the final fence then there and it's the widow who's well clear looking like she's only going to jump it but smell of victory is getting closer Smell of victory jumps it really well there's a furlong to go and the widow is well clear it looks like joshua something has got to pull another one back on leon but it's smell of victory is trying to close but with half a furlong to go the widow is hanging on and he's going to take this one probably by a couple of lengths up towards the line it's the widow that takes it smell of victory second the contract third new york dream four intrigue chanel and i'm going to be fifth in size in town of balladier either and all the way back to violets no weighty and it's definitely been the leon and josh show today for my races with leon winning the majority of them josh pulled a couple back though in the last few the widow's taken that one for joshua sort of the smell of victory second for leon van rensburg the contract was third for craig beck with mallorca dream david hurley fourth intrigued chenay was fifth for david robertson